What's going on guys? It's your boy Terry by Reacts here. And first, before we jump into this reaction, before you go ahead and click on that link. Is this as if I don't want you guys to be listening to me at the intro, right? Because I do want you guys to watch these videos and watch the reviews also. But first let me apologize, guys, um, for this week. This week, I don't know. I don't know. This week is is like something was out to get me you know what i mean like i could tell you guys the amount of stuff that happened to me this week that was like just out of place everything nothing was normal this week i had a ton of trouble with the google drive uploading stuff to the google drive they were taking forever to process and i know i've been putting out notice keeping you guys updated on what's been going on i had trouble the first ipo um upload that i did i had problems with it had to re-upload it again and then it finally finally processed um so i'm trying to find a workaround not for google drive itself but to have google drive process the videos faster so i'm trying to figure out a format that i can put on the google drive that allows it to process fa faster because it seems like what i was doing um was not it's not as compatible with Google Drive as as it would be so I'm gonna go with the so what I'm gonna have to start doing is if what I'm recording if what I'm recording here is not being uploaded quick enough what I'm gonna have to do with the super reaction because the super reaction is two three out hour, two hours long hour and a half to two hours long right so if that is the case and I'm having problems with that, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to have to start rendering out those videos because when I render it out, that way I can set it specifically because OBS doesn't allow me to do a, uh, a specific kind of, I want to say, um, it doesn't allow me to really because I don't have a specific graphics card that I can do um, H.264 videos, which is what what Google wants. Google YouTube, they want that, that H.264 um, video format, right, with the AAC audio. So the only way I can do that is if OBS doesn't allow me to do that unless I have a specific graphics card. So if I've... I've put a new setting on OBS to see if it will work that way. But if, because what I was doing was just recording it straight on OBS and just upload it to the Google drive instead of putting it in an, a video editor and rendering it out. So if I have to render it out, then I'll render it out. It's just, it's just going to take me a little bit more time. And with one hour, two hour videos, <laughs> rendering those videos out can take, a lot of hours so i'm just gonna have to plan around it um for future situations um to see if this can um this if i would be better off it just means that if if there's a super reaction to come out for the next day i won't be able um to put it out early in the morning early in the morning it would have to come out like midday it should be ready by midday um, maybe in the afternoon. Okay, so that's the drawback to that. Not to say that I it would throw me off schedule. It wouldn't. It's just that usually I would put the stuff to upload while I'm sleeping. So when I wake up, before I get ready to leave, I can just sit down, get the video, get the videos for YouTube ready because those are already loaded and ready to go. Right, so they're uploaded to YouTube. It's just that I have to wait until the video is processed on the Google Drive to actually send those videos on YouTube out so you guys know that the video is ready to be watched. Right, so that's how that's the process. Right, so now what I would have to do with the super reactions is render it out while I'm sleeping and then set it to upload while I'm out because I can know if it's processed or not 
while I'm out because I have the, the Google Drive app on my phone and it and I can check to see if the video is ready. If it's ready, then I can send those YouTube videos out to you guys. Good to go. So I just wanted to say that to give you guys an update on all of my anime videos. I'm going to be doing this today. So you, I promised you guys that I would get this out um, on Friday for you guys. Um, unfortunately, you guys are going to get these two videos a little bit later in the evening because I'm actually recording this on Friday. So you guys are going to get this a little bit later tonight. So I hope you guys don't mind. It might come out. Shoot, it might come out. In the morning depends on how long it takes to process again on the Google Drive okay usually I don't have no problems when I'm doing single episodes it you know it might take like 10 20 minutes after um, after upload to be done to be ready on the Google Drive because it's a very short video you know 20 minute 20 minute video maybe 20 25 minutes so it doesn't take long to process on the Google Drive but when it's hours long it's forever. I mean, till even now, when I go back and check on the Ippo, the last Ippo reaction that I did of the of the fight um, of Takamura versus Eagle, it still ain't processed yet. And it's been there for like almost 48 hours now. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what's going on with it. So I've rendered it out and uploading it. Um, I'm uploading it now. So you guys should have that by Saturday morning maybe late Friday, maybe late tonight. So thank you guys for listening to me blab on about that stuff. We're just going to jump into this episode, man. You guys know what's going on with Kogias. We're jumping into episode 20. We're, you know, soon to be wrapping up the season. Um, lots of surprises going on. Um, the, the, the Japanese showing up. Um, so I'm excited to go see what's going on. Hopefully they explain how they got on the island and all of this other stuff because that was left a mystery um i don't know who cc was talking to i think it's like two episodes back she was talking to somebody at end of episode. i was wondering who she was talking to because i was saying maybe she was talking to lelouch maybe they have some sort of um telepathic um connection um but somebody has said in the comment section they were telling me that um remember that cc was talking to someone so i i don't know I don't know. Let's jump into this and see what happens. So you can go ahead now, click the link in the description, and let's go watch this episode, man. Peace. See you for the review. All right. So I just finished watching episode 20 of... Code Geass Lelouch of the Rebellion and it was a doozy. It was a doozy. Um it was one of those episodes where th there was a, a couple of payoffs. But let me talk about the 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 thing um the part of the episode that I didn't like. It's not that big of a negative, but they could have done a better job of building up the relationship between i don't think it's a real love connection you get what i'm saying like she realizing that she has those feelings for him um and asking him to live so they can realize this i don't know out of the blue love you know what i'm saying there is no i think there's other animes that that build this stuff up way better in 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 and it's not about the amount of time because they could do you have people that can do that two three episodes and and you already see the connection the chemistry between the characters i don't see this chemistry it's more it's too friendly you get what i'm saying like it it, it just came off of as too friendly it it doesn't feel i mean the relationship between lelouch and and Shirley is was way better than this. Even though Yuffie and and, and Suzaku has had way more. Well, they really have nothing other than that one day they spent together. Like, other than that, it it, it was like, oh, I see you could be my knight, and then you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't like that. I didn't I, that I didn't enjoy that. 
You get what I'm saying? Unless maybe you guys can tell me if you felt like it, it it's more of a if it's if it's an actual actual realization that she's come to or it's just like she's you know what I'm saying asking him to live. And and also I want to know what happened what the hell happened to his eyes um right after when you after you finished talking to him like i want to know what happened to that did he did that break the gears us or something i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know what's happening there but his eyes glowed i don't know maybe the power of love breaks the gears i don't know i'm just thinking out loud right now but i didn't like that aspect of this episode like that came too much out of the blue like maybe you guys felt that chemistry i i i didn't i didn't i think lelouch and and shirley had a way better connection like you could feel it there was built up it was obvious they talked about it they talked about how in love she was with him um and then it was requited by lelouch because he, he did actually kiss her back and then he really felt it even after the fact that he, he, you know what I'm saying? Like when he actually realized what he had done using the gears on her, the remorse he had, you know what I'm saying? Like that relationship, it felt real. You get what I'm saying? This just, it felt like is, is old. The girl that visited him. I don't remember her name. The girl that visited Yuffie. Is she in love with Yuffie? Like, I'm trying to figure out how did she come to that realization. It's because of, I know it's because of something that she said to her. But she came to the realization that she loves, I didn't, uh, that's not what I expected. But, you know, from I saw the hesitation, I know that's what she was going to say. kind of reminds me, it kind of reminds me of the moment in Naruto when Sakura was going after Sasuke, but he did, but she didn't want him to know. She didn't want Naruto to know that that's her real intention. So she went there because of the promise that Naruto made. She think that that's all it was, but it was way more than that for Naruto at that point, right? That promise was for him. It was for her, but at the same time, she thought that was all it is, so she just told him, I love you. You don't have to do this anymore. You don't have to keep chasing after Sasuke so much. Um, but we all knew it was fake. We knew it was fake as the audience. And it just this moment right here reminds me of that. It's like you're telling him that you love him so that he can be your knight. He can be you get you, you you guys understand what I'm what I'm trying to say. So let's move on to the more positive things about this episode. It's the first time I've ever said anything negative about this anime. Um so give me a break. <laughs> okay? Um So the positive things about this episode definitely the um the whole thing uh, um the plan um where Lelouch is trying to tell him what's the what the objective of this is and it's to become an independent nation um to, to for Tokyo to become an independent nation now as tall of an ambition as that is right I'm not gonna count him I'm not counting him out I'm just saying it's a big it's a big deal you get what I'm saying? It's going to be a very tall order to get that done with just the Black Knights. They need way more support to get this done. So hopefully in the future, that is something that, that does happen. Well, I mean, they're going up against um, an enemy that controls a third of the entire world. As you hear, I think it was Kylan that said it. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, but Lelouch brought him back, and, and it's the true thing he's saying is like, so what are you guys waiting for? What do you think we're doing this for? You think we're doing this you, you, just, just because um, they're going to keep attacking. We have to have an objective. We have to have something extravagant, a mission to be accomplished, right? It's not just about 
get in revenge. I hopefully um that it's not just about the river. I know that's a part of you know because of what happened to him in the past why he why he hates them so much. But now I'm seeing him like I think he's kind of taking a page out of Suzaku's book where he's saying these things because he's realizing that there has to be more to this than just plain old revenge. You get what I'm saying? There has to be more to it. Now that I'm getting all these other people involved, now it's not just about me. You know, I have all these people that look up to me now. So now I have to have a, a greater objective that benefits everybody and not just me. Right. Um, so I feel like that's the direction that I see it going um, from this point forward. Um, but it was also great to see him work with Suzaku, bringing him. Um, Suzaku was ready to sacrifice himself. Of course, he's always ready to sacrifice himself. People who believe that they've done something wrong and they never get punished for it, they always feel like if there's a moment where I can pay for those sins, you know what I'm saying? Like you have... Yeah, you have those people who are narcissistic and stuff like that where they're like, man, I don't give a shit. I killed a hundred people. I don't feel nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you have people that feels like if they take a life and even though they might be in the in the right, they feel like it wasn't the, their right to take that life. So they feel like if there's a situation where they could give their life, for another life to save many or to save one, they will happily jump in that situation and, you know, to call it a day, you know, so, but I, um, and I already, I already forgot what the name of that damn nightmare is already. <laughs> okay. I already forgot. So don't hate me. I already forgot. I'm guessing as they use it more and more, I remember it. Cause I do remember the grand mark too. Um, the Lancelot, and I do remember, um, somebody told me the name of Toto's Nightmare, um, but I forgot already, I'm gonna have to look back at it again, um, the ones that show up often, I will remember their names, but the ones that, if they don't show up often, I'm not gonna really remember, because they're not really featured, you get what I'm saying? The Grand Mark II. Now, this one now, if they show it some more, I'm definitely going to be remembered because they're always going to say the names of them, right? Like, I remember the Lancelot. I know the Grand because I've seen it many times now. I've seen the Lancelot many times. And then we have the little itty-bitty ones that don't do nothing much that, you know, the rest of the, 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 the not so good, <laughs> you know, the rest of the regular soldiers, the privates, right? They riding those, you know what I'm saying? Them little purple ones that, you know, they like, they look like the, <laughs> they're the, they're the OGs, you know what I'm saying? They're the OGs. They're many, you know, there's nothing special about them. They just, they, they, they got a job and they got to do it, <laughs> you know? So that's what it's all about right there. So this episode, definitely another aspect is surely finding that letter and don't know how the hell she forgot about it. So that's pretty interesting. Waiting to see that storyline develop, how she's going to approach it by talking to Lelouch about, you know, like, I don't understand why I forgot this, you know? So hopefully she doesn't show it to anyone before she talks to Lelouch, which that's going to be bad because, you know what I'm saying? Because if his classmates find out he's zero, I don't know how they're going to respond to it. You know what I'm saying? I know whole boy gonna have his back though, dude. That's always that was riding with him from like, well, like in the first episode and stuff. Like, definitely, I know he not gonna ride him out. I know that much because he's he's gonna want to know what's up, but he's not gonna ride him out off bat. Um, I don't. I I think um, what's her name knows who he is. Um, the 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 student council president the 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 one that's about to to marry the um to marry the dude that um built the lancelot and stuff uh, um the earl right um i can't remember his name either um so you guys know who i'm talking about because you guys have watched the show i'm definitely gonna watch this season 
over again just to pick up on certain things maybe that I've missed. Um, definitely going to watch it. I usually do that when it comes to anime. I usually watch the season again if I'm invested in it. Like, I've watched Naruto probably 10 times through. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I've probably watched that, probably watched Naruto. Like, I'm I'm serious. I've probably watched it 10 times through. I've, every single episode, I've probably watched at least 10 times. So... I know that series and I might have I might not have the popular opinion about that series but I do have opinions there's so there's certain things that I noticed that you might not have noticed and you might notice stuff that I don't know you have the dudes that analyze down to the to the freaking stone faces <laughs> like I don't go that deep you know what I mean so it's crazy um when you think about this, this anime is is so it's well written, and that's what I love about it. And just to think of when when you think about it, of how genius Lelouch is and how smart he is, it's like you wish you could think 10, 20 steps ahead like he does. You know what I mean? So, and then you go and give him a superpower. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, dude, the dude was already smart. From the first episode, they displayed that. You know what I'm saying? And then they go and give him a superpower. It's just like, come on, bro. How OP can you be? You know what I mean? So that was pretty, that's pretty good. Cool. But I love this episode, man. Episode 20, man. It was a great one. So now I'm going to go do my Evangelion reaction so you guys can have it tonight. All right? So. See you guys next time, man. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment on this. Let me know what you think of episode 20, man. It was awesome. Let me know what you think. Um, You guys have been liking, but you have not been commenting enough on for this anime. For this anime, and even Evangelion right now is kind of doing better than my Code Geass reactions, which is, which is nuts. You know what I'm saying? Evangelion. A lot of Evangelion fans out there. Um, so, you guys need to kick it up a notch. I know it's mostly the same people, but yeah. Leave a comment on this video, man. Highly appreciate it. All the videos need the interaction anyways. You guys have been doing great. I just need you to kick it up a notch, alright? So, let's get it. Let's go. I'm not going to be out here telling you, oh, I need this video to get to 100 likes and 200 likes. No, uh, uh, no I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. You guys, if you watch the video, like the video. If you don't like it, put a dislike. It doesn't matter. If you didn't like it, it don't matter. It's an opinion. Okay? Just remember, if you liked the reaction and the review, put a like on the video. It's not that hard, man. You watched it. Okay? So, thank you guys for watching. As always, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Peace. See you on the next one.